Maybe you should work on your mouth or something. <laughs> Ducks, old pickup trucks, slow moving trains, and rain. And I love little country streams, sleep without dreams, Sunday school in May, and hay. And I Pictures of my friends, birds of the world and squirrels, and I'd love coffee in a cup, little fuzzy pups, bourbon in a glass, and grass. Smiles, kisses from a child, tomatoes on a vine, and onions. And I love winners when they cry, losers when they try, music when it's good, and life. Can you make can me can you make me up that boy George? Oh, easy. It might be a new look for me, huh? Quit trying to ruin a reputation. <laughs> yeah, save that for Halloween. Sam McGee's hired me to do. Sam McGee's over indicator. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, once we get you mic'd up, we'll consider this coming out right now. We're, we're live. Yeah, we're, we're already on, but we're very flexible, aren't we, Mark? Yes. Mark Mac Real Estate. You've been in real estate business what? 35 Seven, years. 700 years. 35 years. That's 35. almost as long as I've been in the TV business. Stan McDonald was really speaking your praise today. Now, you also handle foreclosures. Mm -hmm. uh, for, that's, that's probably about 25% of our business. Oh. How is the real estate business now in North Alabama, Mark? Uh, it, seems, it seems to be the houses are moving. Uh, we need more listings. Uh, the, the, proper, the properties that we're listing that are priced right, we, we sell them. I mean, they sell. What's the turnaround? Basically, 90 days, 120. Uh, it depends on if it's priced it, right. It depends on if the uh, owner listens to what we show them, what the value of a property is. Mm -hmm. Is that the biggest trouble that you have? A lot of people think yes. their products or their properties worth a lot more. Than Everybody they thinks that, don't they? That's have. true. And, and prices have come down. Mm -hmm. They've come down this year. Uh, right, you know, right now, if you want to sell, I think now's the time to do it because with the interest rates going up. You know, salaries are not going up. Makes it harder to get along. So, you know, something's you, got to adjust. You educated me a little bit when I met with you two weeks ago over there that in the past, prior to 06, people were moving up. And that's what everybody did. That's yes. the American way. Right. Move up to a bigger, nicer house. Correct. And you're saying nowadays people, are, because of the economy situation, people aren't doing that. They're more so are moving, staying the, the same. The people who move are the people who have to move. Okay. They move to a, you know, another city or or you know, ha have to move for a different school district or something like that. Or even downsize for the price. Right. No, uh, not Lost necessarily jobs. because you know they bought a house and now they're ready to move to their second house or they want four bedrooms. And th that's not happening as much as it you know did back. Now, when uh, someone calls you, say they're watching this morning, they say, "Well, I'm going to list my property with Mark or Marmac Real Estate." What's the process? Is it a complicated one or is it a fairly easy one? Uh, if I are in, if they tell me where their house is, you know, and I have enough time to, you know, do a, do a CMA on it, and find out what their house is worth, I'm going to show them what their house was worth in 2005, 2006, 2007, all the way up to today, 
and you know they can see the trend. So you're gonna do a brief history on right. So they track it. You know, so they'll know exactly where they're at. Hmm. You know, you know, I'm the one that delivers the message to them what their property is worth. They're the one who sets the price. You know, yeah. hopefully. Is it hard to convince one like Gloria just brought up? Say, well, you know, and it's like we had a house that's for sale in Huntsville once. I said, let's ask 750,000 for it. Well. The paper came out and listed it at 150 that Saturday morning. <laughs> it was like a parade around the circle that we lived on. I mean, it was crazy. but I was, I was being very... And of course, the market uh, dipped tremendously, so you have to lower your prices. But that's the way it works. You know, Everybody thinks your house is worth more. And, and price is what you know, dri drives the sale of a house. If you, you know, if you price it too high, you're not going to have any interested buyers. You know, every, everybody can afford a $10,000 house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You raise it up twenty thousand. You knock out one or two. Every ten thousand dollars, you're eliminating buyers. You know the pyramid's getting smaller and smaller right. as to who can purchase the house. So. How important is it to declutter your home when you're getting ready to sell? Very important. <laughs> uh, you know, if you've got a house, it's um, lived in quite well. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you got a lot of personal stuff in it, stuff like that. You, you need Photos, you need to them remove down. that stuff so that when you know a customer's coming through the house, they're seeing your home. It's it's yeah. hard they to change that. They want to picture that. their their belongings yes. in that. It's hard to change that first impression, isn't it? Right. It is. You know, I mean, you know, the first thing I tell people is, you know, paint the front door. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the first thing they see when they walk up. You know, they smell paint. You know, it, it fresh. It it clean. You know, Everyone wants the biggest, newest house they possibly can afford. Well, you know, we, we're dealing with a house that's lived in, so we've got to make it, you know, be the biggest, newest house that they can afford. We bought our house here from Tom McAllister. Tom's doing much better for all you folks it out is. there watching. Patsy Gooch, I want to so give you a shout out this that. morning. One thing I never, Gosh. ever took into consideration, I was so yeah. wowed by this house. Oh, yeah, I got to live here. <laughs> Never once crossed my mind upkeep, maintenance, utilities. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> yeah. All I want, I got to have this house. Right. I mean, you might not get me a buyer like that. You need to sell me something. I'll buy anything. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, uh, I was just, golly, I got to have this house. I don't care that utility bill is 800 a month. I didn't know that. You don't even know what it is. Well, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> But, um, but, but, but that's one thing we do when you, we, you know, we sit you down as a buyer, we do a buyer consultation, see right. what you want, see what you need, what you can afford. What has made your success with uh, Marmac Real Estate, what has been one of the secrets to you guys being one of the number one and biggest real estate companies in North Alabama? Uh, for me being a repeat business, customers that I've had over and over and over. I just had a... Um, did a sale on a property that it was the people both people passed away over my 35 years I've sold them probably 20 houses get out my goodness and I just sold their last house for the estate oh. uh, and we sold it you know, I listed it within 22 days it was sold and we closed it the 31st and you know it's all Wow. Well, I'm finished, but you know, even little Brad back here, our director, you sold their his parents a house. I mean, he was just a kid. You came <laughs> over there, and you were a youngster he back then, and sold them a house. Yeah, sold them a house. Well, I mean, just uh, you know, just yesterday, I was in Florence on the way back. I get a call from a customer that I sold a house to 33 years ago. She had four children. I sold her four children a house. Get out! <laughs> and she, I hadn't heard from her in. 27, 28 years. Well, she'd been busy having kids. Well, now she's <laughs> been busy living. So you but, sold each of the four kids a right, house. And her a house. Because, okay. Good well, first that impression. shows that your, yeah. your reputation, you did what you said you would do. Right. And she called me because her children have inherited a bunch of land, and they're ready to sell it, and which I was the person she called. And what she reminded me, which, you know, this was 33 years ago. I, I, I forgot it, but she said, what I said to her was, she told me she had no credit 
And I told her, no credit's better than bad, bad credit. credit. <laughs> <laughs> True statement. <laughs> and within 30 days, she was in the house. Uh, Mark, thanks it's for being terrible. part of the program That's here. Great. List your house today with the, one of the top real estate companies in North Alabama, Mar Mac Realty out of Decatur, Alabama. Big estate. part of the program now. Mar Mac Real Estate. Y'all give them a call over there. Roll Tide, too, Mark. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll Tide. All right. Barry, you ready? Let's just I'm go ready. straight to Barry. Skip that local and love it. <laughs> We're going to learn some more makeup tips. Marmac Real Estate, list your house today. Come Hit on. it, Barry. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> it's outrageous to line your pockets off the misery of the poor. Outrageous the crime some human beings must endure. It's a blessing to wash your face in the summer souls just rain. Outrageous a man like me stand here and complain. But I'm tired. 900 suits a day. Painting my hair the color of my Anybody hear what I say? No, painting my hair the color of mud. Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Tell me who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Oh, who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? It's outrageous the food we try to serve in the public school. Outrageous the way they talk to you like a clinical fool. It's a blessing to rest your head in the circle of love and I love. Outrageous, I can't stop thinking about the things I'm thinking of, but I'm tired. 900 suits a day, painting my hair the color of mud, mud, okay. I'm tired, tired. Anybody hear what I say? Painting my hair the color of mud. Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Tell me who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone? Who's gonna love you when your looks are gone?